life. Facts. In my life. In my life. Word. <laughs> and I was like, yo, believe it or not, you know how I was the first time on Rikers Island? I'm going to be honest, bro. Facts. Should I be honest? <laughs> yo. It was crazy, bro. It was like, what? I was like, but then as I got older, I was like. <laughs> like used to it a little. It's lit today, bro. It's on the lockout. Rikers Island, let's get it. Yo, today I wanted to bug out real quick with the peoples. I popped out because I was going to do it in a video type of format. But then I was like, yo, you know what? By the time I do it, by the time I post it, I'm trying to fix lights, everything going on in the studio. Everything's like, eh, 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 right? And I was like, bro, you just breaking shit. Word. <laughs> like, chill. <laughs> you getting out of control. <laughs> Word. <laughs> and then I get mad. <laughs> And that's when the lions took your <laughs> facts. It gets crazy. So you already know what that is. I'm playing with my little new toy. You know, I play with toys. Yeah. Big boy toys, though. That I bought with money I generated online. Facts. <laughs> so this is the sound effect masterboard. It's called the Elgato Stream Deck. The link is in the description on our tech channel. And if you haven't checked it out, bro. You got to go by there, bro. It's a little over there. Check it out. Pop. So you already know what you tuned into. It's on the lockout. But our tech channel is uh, actually Tech for Rec. T-E-K, the number four, and R-E-K. It's spelled out right there. Ping, 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 ping. Shout out to all my dudes and everybody who hurried up and came over here. I don't have a problem with it. But damn, the least you could do is ask me. It's obvious that that's my art or my thing. Because even if you see something that's similar to somebody else's, and we all uh, uh, learn from each other. It's just point blank. It's just being honest on what happens online, right? I never use no art or no digital art in the same format that I seen it in. Never, never. Because now you're breaking the like ownership rules. You have to change the art to some type, even if it's the color, to make it yours, bro. Those are the, when you go technical by law, right? Technica technical shit. So my dude, you got dudes running around with my little man right here in purple and yellow and all that on their profiles. It's weird. But shout out to you, bro. All I'm saying is not that weird. You could have just asked me, my guys. Don't just take something from me uh, and, and think like it's just the Internet. I don't live my life thinking oh, it's just the Internet. Respectfully, I don't do that. <laughs> the same, uh, 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 you know, way I live in life, I look at this the same way, bro. That's why I don't let nobody talk crazy because you wouldn't do that in real time or none of that. I don't take it. Like, if I have a problem with somebody, I don't take it. Like, that's just the internet. Nah. A lot normally no people do. <laughs> Only, I don't know, dudes that never go, not even to the store. But anyway, let's get it, bro. That's enough with my uh, little... crying right <laughs> so uh yeah you know because I, I get the crying boy and once i get the crying i don't stop bro facts <laughs> you already know how it goes but let's get to this rikers island story what i want to do is actually play i had a video that i made the first time i was on rikers island i didn't even fix the speed of the voice and i because i would have never came on it'll take it takes forever but i was doing a lot in the studio uh you know what i like to do bro you know, where we, where we trying to, and where we taking things, you heard, to another galaxy. So anyway, um, the first time on Rikers Island that I seen someone get cut, pop, by a Dominican dude, Lazaro, facts, Lazarus, official. Same dude, uh, every time I said like, yo, listen, I don't want to be coming to Rikers Island and be his age. I wind up going to Rikers Island being the individual's age. And then seeing that same individual on Rikers Island at 20 something and then saying, damn, I'll see another dude, you know, older dude, I mean, come on, boy. and be like, I don't want to be Poppy's age. 
I would go home and I came back and guess what? I was Poppy's age. <laughs> Until I finally reached my Poppy's age and I was still nah, listen. <laughs> I was still there, bro. I said I don't want to have gray hairs like a lot of gray hairs and be sitting where homeboy sitting at. I seen a gray hair and guess where the fuck I was sitting at? <laughs> right. Rikers Island. Let's get it though. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually replay and revisit some of them amazing moments of On The Lockout. And I always looked for someone that would do that, that would work with On The Lockout and would capture those moments, like go back to our videos because there's a thing called clips if people didn't know. And I'm repeating it because I do that on my tech channel again, which is T-E-K, the number four and R-E-K, right? It's right there, Tech for Rec. Stream Your Dream is just a hashtag that I came up with and it belongs to to you guys, to my real supporters and me, anyone or you guys could use that. Stream your dreams is our shit. Facts. Uh the same thing with love all people. And uh let's let's get to it. All those sayings, you already know, Rikers Island stories. That's us. Facts. At the end of the day, the real know the facts, you heard? <laughs> so anyway, pop. Chill, what? You already killing them, bro? You just got here, bro. <laughs> Chill, you already know how we do, bro. We get explosive out this bitch. <laughs> Facts. Drop them balls, baby. <laughs> DJ Clue Clue. Now, yo, listen, you already know what it is, bro. So I bought the Agato Stream Deck. I was going to buy the one for 250 but this one costs 160 after taxes and all that. But if you want to get it, the link is in the description on Tech for Rec. And I show how to use it, what it's about, and the lights that I got, the new LED panels, my older lights that are now on sale for $229 with the green screen when an amazing thing is on sale, bro. When I got it, it was like 500 and something, like 600 bucks. Uh, a green screen is important. Don't be fooled. Don't listen to nobody. If you're into making content, you're an awesome person. Do you know that it was listed as the number one uh, job or skill that people want to acquire in the world in 2022? Facts. More people are leaving their everyday job to become content creators. So you're already special if you're thinking that way because you're thinking outside the box, super outside the box. You got here a little late, but the important thing is that you're here. Remember, on the lockout, we always started that saying, saying, this is for everybody. That's us. That's us. I know it seems like it was other people because guess where they come from? They come from us. They come from us. <laughs> Facts, we not even showing off. We showing up and we being humble with it because I want you to know the truth. You see these little pretty brown eyes. They never going to lie to you, B. That's another channel, you heard? They just be mad at the way we do it, you heard? Because <laughs> we king and we in their face like swaggeristic. What up? Let's get it. It's on a lockout. Stories, Rikers Island. I wanted to share this story with my new people, right? Uh, so you can hear the story of King Lazarus, a Latin king that was busting his gun in the adolescence since people want to glorify and talk gang, gang, gang shit, right? Which has no importance to real life. Understand what I'm saying? And to normal people in society, guess what? Rich people are not up at 3 o'clock in the morning, at 12 o'clock midnight, in comment sections, on live streams, comment crazy shit about whack 100, big U, none of that. Rich people don't do that. Intelligent people don't do that. I'm sorry if that's you. Yeah, I'm sorry if that's you that does that, but welcome to the real world, bro. You're dumb. <laughs> Yo, let's get it. It's Rikers Island. Stories is lit. Never glorified. Just telling a story in hopes that you don't end up like my crazy ass or none of my friends that are no longer here. Guess why? Because they wanted to join gangs. They wanted to be thugs. They wanted to be in the street. So they dead. One of them got shot right in the head in front of my face. And another one was kidnapped right before my very eyes. I felt as I could have saved them. And I didn't. I was young, though. I was a kid. He was a member of the Almighty Blood Nation. And I was a member of the Almighty Latin King and Queen Nation. But let me tell you another secret. You ever heard of Together. That's my saying too on Tech for Rec. Together we can with the number two. Together we can accomplish a lot of shit. But guess what happens when 
Outside party, see us together as a whole. The peoples, the world, New York City. The world. They intervene. But you can't always blame other people. Because our people, when we deep, we don't know how to act. We fuck up everything. Can't you tell? It's happening right here on the internet. You have a golden opportunity to acquire all the wealth that you want to. And it's totally up to you with whatever work you put in this is what you get out. And what we do, we come here to gangbang. We come here to talk about Joe Smitty. Yo, he ain't like that. Who gives a fuck if he wasn't like that? He's generating wealth. What the fuck you doing? Nothing. Just watching him. Says a lot about you as a human being, Tommy. When you want to talk about other people, right? <laughs> well, anyway, some people see a phone as a device to call someone or to probably post a picture on Instagram. Or maybe you just want to look at your ugly big potato head all day. But one of the things that these folks did do is they gave you an option. They gave you opportunity. And you just let it burn away. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Did anyone ever tell you that your dream job <laughs> is right in the palm of your hands? Now that you're not utilizing the opportunity and that you're just crying saying, but I've been in prison all my life. I got mad felonies. Dumb YouTubers or streamers, they don't make no money. Well, buddy, what have you been tuning into in the last year? More millionaires came from online endeavors than anywhere else. There's some streamers making over $40 million every 30 days. The problem is that you're tuning in and the dude that's telling you this, he's a bimbo. And he don't want you to win. So he's going to tell you, nah, bro, look, I made four that Because that's all he made. Everybody's journey is different. All I got to tell you, bro, is the choice is yours. I'm not here to sell you social media. I'm not here to sell you nothing. I'm here to tell you that there's a better way. I got over 21 arrests and over 17 convictions. I sold crack and heroin mostly my whole life. I worked, I drove trucks, I even drove school buses on my little times out here and there because I had acquired a CDL license. But I'll never in my life work for nobody again. And I'll never pick up another drug to sell again once I learned the internet and content creation. Why? Because I make more money than I ever did selling crack. Now, somebody else is going to lie to you because they think you coming in is going to make them fall off or you probably know them like that. They're like, nah, he's going to tell stories about me. You don't got to be an asshole when you come on here. You don't got to tell stories. You don't have to have been in prison. All you got to do is have the desire to change and win. And you're off to the races. God bless you on your journey to making content if that's what you ever thought about. And if you didn't, maybe it's something you should take a look at. You don't need all this equipment that I got. If you go back and look at my beginning videos, I started with a phone. Again, that's my story. I know you hear other people say the same story, but they came from here, bro. All them dudes, respectfully. And when people don't give you your flowers, guess what I do? I take mine, baby. You heard facts. Because a lot of times, your students become your biggest haters. It happens all the time. It happened on Rikers Island. It happens in gangs. Latin Kings was the first nation or gang like the media calls it to blow up in New York City so big that people didn't know what to do. The DA says it. The detectives watch the videos. On Rikers Island, they blossomed so big, it was unbearable. People looked at it as oppression. Oh, my God, they don't let us use the phone. They don't let us use the TV. I swear, bro, they was oppressing us, bro. They don't let black people in the Lion Kings, like, giving you misinformation. When it's always been a mixed nation of black and Hispanic people, these are facts. Now, if you want to know story that other nationalities were excluded from it during the times of war. Now, that's a different thing. 
But when you got a bunch of idiots speaking, misinformation always gets leaked out, and you want to be looked at as Black Panther when you was the biggest devil within the prison system till today. Facts. So with that being said, you start off a trend, it blows up, and other people want to be you. Right? And when other people want to be you, and they see that it's hard to be you and to get to the level that you've gotten to without busting their ass and really working, they start to hate and they start to talk and put you down. So you perceived as bad individuals to the rest of the world, but they the good ones. When in reality, if you really look and chill on the outside looking, you'll notice that the devil is always disguised, but you'll be able to see him. If you just slow down for a second, he'll reveal himself every moment he can. Facts. There's on the lockout. Thank you for tuning in. If nobody ever told you and if I seem like a real piece of shit or I think who I am, excuse me, I've been like that most of my life. I've been through a lot of shit, so I don't let people win that hard. But you, you that's watching, there's a loyal supporter, I love you, bro. I love you. Nothing for nothing, bro. You know what? I don't get fucking donations on this channel. I don't go live like that. I go live Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If that. I'm on every other platform, though. Google, On The Lockout Podcast. Thank you. By the grace of God, today I've accomplished on my own with no help from nobody. Only you guys. Yeah, my lockout gang, my lockout fam. We on over 639 major audio and streaming platforms. Worldwide Facts Not for free We're here You can just have my podcast Yo here I'm an idiot <laughs> I just wanna Understand what you're doing Understand your worth You're worth more than what you think And if you don't tell your story Guess what <laughs> When you pass away Or when people feel you have Somebody else will tell it for you And generate twice the income Cause you're worth more when you're dead, unfortunately. So get to your business, boy. Wake the fuck up and welcome to the new world order. Where if you're not online, <laughs> you ain't on nobody's mind. Gang, gang, let's get it. Rikers Island story. The first time I was locked up. Damn, war. Chill, bro. What you crying about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, baby. You ready? Let's check out the chat. Let's see if they're ready, bro. Yeah, my people are ready. My people, I love you. Aren't you not entertained? Again, that's my shit. I know you heard Rambo, Fambo, and Jambo say it. They got that from us. Aren't you not entertained? And that's why we're playing older videos of On The Lockout, and you're going to see a lot of shit that you see people utilizing today. All the way from StreamYard. You remember the guys that first started saying, bro, I was the first one to use StreamYard. <laughs> like, are you serious, bro? We spoke to that kid when he first was thinking about opening the app. It's live, bro. Look, search. You're just watching On The Lockout, bro. I have over 10 YouTube up and running channels active. Let me tell you, for the people that get misconfused, because one time I was going back and forth with one of these blood uh, members, right? It was like a little entertainment thing. It wasn't serious, because it gets crazy when it gets serious, right? So, uh, 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 he stated, like, yeah, it was him common thing. He was joking around, bro. He was trying to bring people, persuade people to his thing, and it's cool. It was a good tactic, right? It didn't work, because... One of the rules of making content is when you're a real content creator, you cannot make a troll page officially. You may get away with it, right? But when you're found out that it's you, YouTube blocks that content creator from making any other page and knocks their page off the bracket. So whoever is making it, when you get found out, you're done. You get it? So hopefully all these dudes will get found out. So I never did that. What happened was one time somebody seen me comment with another page, which was Golden Culture, Culture with a K, which we talk about hip hop there. And I'm making a video after this there and on Historias de la Roca and Tech for Rec. All these channels is lit with new content all blazing this week. The art is lit, bro. It's summertime, baby. Let's get it. We got, 
I went to the Poconos. I got some things on that. I got a lot of things going on, bro. I got a few people I'm working with. Shout out to Gameplay. That's my guy, bro. Your Gameplay. I got love for you, son. And that's it. I don't got love for nobody else. Just game. Nah, I'm only kidding. So shout out to my people. You know, I don't want people to think I don't got no love for them. I'm just like kind of a loner. I got a lot of friends, bro. So if you're calling my phone, that phone gets blown up when I'm not on the show. Call when I'm on the show. Why are you calling me on the side? Like, if you my buddy, buddy. Like, we went to kindergarten, respectfully. Like, bro, yo, bro, I just wanted to tell you I fuck with your show, bro. <laughs> yo, you the man, bro. You started this Rackers Island shit. Yo, you the blazer, man. No, no, don't say I'm the blazer. <laughs> no, no, no. They're going to think I'm blood again. <laughs> if I had that problem like I'm at times. <laughs> I'm not blood, bro. I would never be blood, bro. I have no type of traitor shit in me. I was part of the almighty Latin king and queen nation. And that's the way I want to keep it. I want to keep my goal, my retirement as that. You heard? I'm daddy Yankee. I'm retired. You heard? But I'm still around. <laughs> I'm still king. Facts. <laughs> you heard? So, uh. Yeah, bro. I would never do that. That's never even passed my mind. The thought has never... I couldn't live with myself. In fact, I would never do it, but I would have probably murdered myself. Facts. Uh, uh, And I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Like, I just don't do that. I don't have nothing against any other gang. Whatever you involved in, you involved in. I'm not a gang hopper. You heard? So if you a gang hopper, shout out to you. You heard? Hopefully somebody will step on you like a grasshopper. You heard? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> what? B-R-G, B-R-G, prank. <laughs> Shout out to Charleston Chew, bro. We were one of the first people to start getting on Charleston Chew, right? Facts. Look at the videos, bro. Go back and look, bro. Stop hating. Go back and look. I was been dissing Charleston Chew, saying he was no good. Charleston White. The biggest piece of shit in America is Charleston White. But Charleston White fucked up big time when he said, fuck big pun. Charleston White will be dead by the end of this summer. Hopefully... He won't, right? Hopefully he won't because we don't wish death on nobody. But if he keeps going the direction he's going, somebody will blow his head off along with WAC 100. So they can both be buried in the same spot on the West Coast. You heard? Facts. So any of you little cockroaches, right, that dance like cockroaches, right, the way like that, that blue had you, right, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Facts. So anyway, right, oh, shit, whoa, yeah, 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 shout out to you, bro, you heard, because people think they're the only ones that can say what they want to say, it don't work that way, bro, you heard, you need to slow your trap, that dude, what he is, is a little skinny mouse, and what he does is he tries to draw attention, and in his head, he thinks it's just the internet, nobody in New York is gonna do nothing, it's the internet, you gotta be a fool, he uses reverse psychology, so he'll blaze your mother, curse everybody out, and the next day he'll be like, man, you gotta be a fool to see me and shoot me, well, guess what, bro, there's fools out there that will see you and shoot you. There's fools out there that will see you and shoot you for talking about Fat Joe, for saying F Big Pun, for saying F DMX. Some of these people love their favorite celebrity more than their own mother, bro. Can't you see it with Nipsey and all that? People didn't take care of their kids, bro, for over 10 years. Didn't have money to travel to go see their kids, but traveled to go to their favorite rapper's concert, bro. And found the money by any means. Do you understand? You probably don't because you're lost. You're thinking you're a comedian. you lit, right? And we're going to see how funny it is this summer, baby. <laughs> They're going to have you doing jumping jacks. You lucky I didn't catch you on the Queen's Flip show. Queen's Flip probably wanted to break your neck. And he's probably like, bro, leave him alone. He's skinny as fuck. You heard we're going to start a West Coast, East Coast beef. But listen, New York, we don't cater to nobody. We got our own style. Y'all little Southerners, respectfully, right? Because like 30 people stopped following me the other day when I cursed out the West Coast, right? Well, that's cool. You wasn't supposed to be here anyway. If your man could say a joke about New York and curse and get crazy and we can't respectfully be disrespectful, then I don't fucking need you here anyway. Whoever told you that I was stuck on subscriber count, lie to you, bro. Facts, that's not me. <laughs> Word. So respectfully, the door is that way, bro. You can proceed. Hold up. Let me put on the beat for you while you walk out. Yeah, welcome to On The Lockout, baby. The hottest show in America, bro. If nobody told you they love you, I love you. You heard? Facts. We in the building, bro. <laughs> Bro, 
But Charleston White been fooled, you heard? Charleston White been fooled. Somebody send him this and tell him that for this reason. Yo, bro, he said Pun Son is crying and all that. He disrespected, bro. That's foul. That's foul, bro. But I guarantee you one thing. There's a moron in the world that wants to get in good terms with Fat Joe. <laughs> and these people really think, I'm telling you what's going to happen. I'm not telling you what I wish upon nobody or nothing like that. We're going to get right into Rikers Island, the story and all that good shit in a second. You know how we do. We entertain the people. You're not here to waste your money. You pay $10 for your tickets. I'm here to make sure you get your money worth, boy. You heard? By the way, link in the description for those of you that want to help the channel grow. Cash app. If you don't see my picture, that's not me. A lot of people are doing a lot of thievery. Uh, so you can just hit it. Bah! And it'll take you right there. Feel free to drop all extra monies that you're not using this week. If you need <laughs> for your tampons and, you know, your cortez, you know, OB. Yo, I used to love that, bro. Shout out to you. The link is in the description, more. By the way, right? <laughs> Don't ever get one thing confused with the other. We've been doing pretty well on our own, but of course, we pay light, we pay bills. I'm grown, bro. I don't live with my mother. I will live with yours if you let me, <laughs> right? Because dude's always like, bro, this dude lives with a girl. No, I'm supposed to live with your father. Is your father single? <laughs> you're an idiot. Now, if you're stating again that my if my wife buy no, bro, nobody supports me. Nobody bought me nothing in my studio. All this shit that I have in here, I ask anybody that's really been on the lockout, I've acquired from online endeavors bro facts not just youtube because remember we are over 600 major audio and streaming platforms don't believe me go look it up yourself i never lied bro facts i never lied bro i am mr miyagi bro and the thing is that i let it be known i'm mr miyagi the rest of these dudes they've been down your son nigga. and the reason why i don't f with them is because they are haters bro see me i talk about dudes i whack 100 sometimes too you heard i whack 100 probably not to the extent of 100 but like up to 20 right and i do it with dudes that be like yo bro i really don't want to talk about that and then i know I never talk to that dude again. Sometimes I'm testing dudes. So if I pulled back from you because I was telling you something and you thought I was talking about somebody and you was like, yo, I don't want to talk about. I was testing you. You played yourself. You're a bitch. You really a hater of mine. And when I started talking, you try to nip it so that then you could go back and be like, yo, what was talking about you? But check this out. I don't talk about nobody. I'm going to tell you what talking about somebody is. It's what these loopies right funny loopies do right which by the way the next time you hear this elgato stream deck all the sound effects and it will be with my voice and from me facts everything i don't like using other people's shit it's not me although that's given to you like this oh yeah that one's cool when i'm gaming but i'm gonna do my own oh yeah my shit is better it's gonna be like oh yeah bitch you get it? Don't copy those, son. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that, how to incorporate your own sounds. If you're using some flimsy sound device that's probably uh 20 bucks, it's cool. If it works, let me know about it. I want to get it too. I'm not a hater. I want to show our people how can they buy one that's cheaper. But what they do have is the Elgato Mini, and it has six buttons. And in my next video coming up about the Elgato Stream Deck, I'm going to show you how you convert one Stream Deck into two with just another device that costs 20 bucks. So you don't need the one for 250. I'm sorry, Elgato. I'm taking your business, but I'm for the people, by the people. And these companies are robbing us on a daily basis. And then hitting us up talking about, yo, would you let me sponsor one of your videos? Fuck no. <laughs> That's like saying, can I go to your channel for like 20 minutes and fuck over your whole audience? I just want to rob everybody of their fucking money because I see from time to time they donate to you. So why? Which in reality, they probably seen lives from a year ago, two years ago. I haven't got donations on this channel in over a year in an amount where I was getting it before where the FBI had hit me. And I think that it all turned and I'm going to say it again. Right. When Killer Sapo, who's right here, he'll tell he's a test. He can attest or whatever to this shit. I was getting so much donations, the FBI called my spouse, right? And said, how is this guy getting so much money into one bank account in such a little bit of time? His social security 
is this? And she was like, no, you have a social security wrong. She gave him the right one so they could check up if I was really a content creator. This is how far they go. For those of you that think that they're not watching a so-called OGs, which, by the way, you're not all OGs. Shout out to all of you guys that just came out of prison. But shut the fuck up, please. No one cares that you just came out of upstate prison. You just came out the island. Yo, my name was uh, King Mataculo. Uh, my name was uh, so-and-so Crip, so-and-so Blood, uh, so-and-so Nieta, or whatever, bro. Nobody gives a fuck, bro. I get it. You come out here and you see us telling stories and your sister told you, bro, Pito, you could do the same thing that this guy's doing. He told this story. Look, if they listening to that little stupid motherfucker, they'll listen to you. Your sister's trying to get you killed, bro, respectfully. She knows nothing what she's talking about. She just sees money, and she's a fan or a supporter, and I get it. This is how we're going to do it. Tell me where your sister's at. I'm going to have a sit down with her, talk to her, take good care of her, and then I'm going to put you on. But nothing is going to happen. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm not like that. <laughs> Yo, check it out, though, bro. Chill with your jail stories, bro. Nobody wants to fucking hear them. No one gives a fuck. It's the same story as the other guy. Oh, you was a blood member. Yeah, and I got into a fight with the Latin Kings or oh, whatever, right? Everybody wants to be a Latin King hater. Yo, I was in that war, too. No, you wasn't, bro. Stop fucking lying, bro. <laughs> You're fucking 12 coming on like, Yo, I was there, bro. <laughs> if you wasn't born in the 70s, bro, shut the fuck up <laughs> facts <laughs> you was not there joey <laughs> you heard about it on cnn <laughs> now listen shout out to everybody hopefully you make it and you won't get killed off a story you tell because it could happen right so nobody tells you that part and it's happened as fact it's happened right i gotta tell you the truth behind the scenes we put a few lumps on a few bumpers right it's just point blank these things happen right so you got to watch what you say, and that's why I always speak with caution. I shout everybody out. I'm just being honest. Shout out to all my patrias. I love you, by the way. <sighs> Jesus, please, patrias. If you ever see me, don't do nothing to me, bro. I'm fucking shook. Nah, shout out to my patrias. I love you. Do you guys know I take care? We take care of a little Dominican baby in my household? Facts. So if you ever try to come in here, I'm going to like definitely double kill you now. Facts. Because there's an, another child in here. So I we do babysit a Dominican kid. He's like awesome. I held him in my arms today and I put him like kind of sort of on my lap. I don't like putting other people's kids on my lap. And the reason why I look after kids so much and everybody knows like, yo, he's the best with kids. is because I didn't have too much of an opportunity to take care of mine. Although I had a lot of them over four of them. Right. Well, not me literally, but I put them in somebody, right? And um, I was locked up. You know, it, it was crazy. I would make a baby and go to jail. I would come back out, make a baby, and go back to Rikers. And it's so weird, right? I'm online and I'm gaming and I'm actually playing Apex, which is a game that I really love. Like, this is my fucking thing, right? And um, I stream my game. For those of you that don't know and you think I'm just streaming a game because, oh, bro, he's a kid. We all play video games, bro. In fact, if you knew my real name, people that know me in my neighborhood since I was a kid get it. My, when you find out my real name, you're going to be like, now I know why you like making videos and why you play video games. Apex is like the closest thing that you're going to get to shooting somebody and saying, bro, I'm going to kill you online. And getting away with it and not getting banned or anything, right? So I like playing with dudes that talk shit that I got a problem with. Because I'm letting him know, like, bro, I'm going to kill you one day. But I literally am. I'm getting out. Listen, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. But anyway, play Apex with me, please. <laughs> if you got problems with me, pop out, play Apex. I'm all for the smoke. So anyway, uh, I'm getting pretty good at the game. I plan on one day being one of the top streamers in Apex. It's one of my goals. It's one of my dreams. And I think that I can accomplish that. We've accomplished so much here. By the way, do you know I'm in a movie coming out? I Actually, I got casted for over three movies. And those are the ones I accepted. Because I've been offered previous movies, book deals, but I was doing my own book anyway. I don't need nobody else to rob 40% of me. I'm not a fucking, you're not going to extort me. And normally, as a blood gang member or a crip gang member or another gang member, it don't matter, right? From the West Coast, calling you up like, yo, bro, we can manage you. Yeah, you can also give me head while you're there on your fucking way, you heard? You fucking idiot. So... 
Don't do business with no one on the West Coast, bro. Them dudes are real fucking dirtbags, right? And this is the way we break these dudes. We let them know, bro, we got the power. They just got here to this social media shit and they think they lit. But the reason why they lit is because unconsciously, we are the most dumbest people in society. We want to talk about that. Oh, Black 100 was extorting Nipsey Hussle. So the mere fact that you're still going back to listen to this fucking pizza face and tuning in to the clubhouse fucking nonsense, you're helping him. So when a person sees that the only way they create and generate is by spitting out hate, guess what they're going to do every opportunity they get? Right, exactly that, moron. Aren't you not entertained, baby? Oh! Yo, we back at it again, but we just won't stop. I started this hip-hop shit inside a podcast. These dudes want to do what I do. It didn't come out right. Do it again, boy. Next time, don't bite. I'm going to recite. When I see you, son, we going to fight. You acting like it's polite, like taking my styles of height. But I'm a beat, uh, hip-hop dude. I hold grudges, homie. Wait till I see you. I don't care if you out of state. To me, you still a plate. And because you on YouTube, you think it's not real? Okay. When I see you, it's lit. When I see you... Is lit. I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. I'm gonna hit you with my. Uh, yo, you took my whole style. You bit it and ran. I don't really give a fuck, boy. You know I'm the man. Everything that you do, son, you copy from me. From Rikers Island stories to trying to put your crib like it was MTV. <laughs> yeah, let's get it poppin'. It's the saga. Dudes already know your girl, she's a baga. She don't clean the house. She's not your spouse. A matter of fact, you married her and a fucking mouse. Huh? You talk about 6'9, but you would've told two. Stop frightening, little homie. You know what you what to do, what you would have did, as a matter of fact, hope may feed your kids. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Te lo juro por mi madre, cogieron mi estilo Corrieron con él como si fuera un perrico Un bondo, un stack, ya tú sabes Cuando te veo, you getting smacked And all of that, we do it like that Sin cojones a mí me tiene Quien tú conoces pa' apoye Yo soy el duro en este Cuando me ven gritan, oh yeah Ahí va, el jíbaro, el jíbaro, el duro <laughs> Yeah, que te va a romper el culo Let's get it, baby Yo, I started that rap shit In between podcasting, that was me Everything these dudes are doing, I started. Am I lying? Let's get it, bro. Let's say the truth. That's a fact. And I'm going to cry till I get mine, bro. All that shit, the beatboxing. It's on a lockout. Before the show starts, I started that. Was nobody beatboxing? StreamYard, I know one time this cara de papa bambalang nigga said, yo, bro, yo, these dudes didn't have nothing to say that one of them said. I started StreamYard, bro. You're lying again, bro. They just want to be number one in everything. And my thing is, if you would shut up, I would never talk about this shit because it's all irrelevant to me. But when you make it so easy for me to generate an income, then I don't even have to think about what content I'm going to make. It's ill, bro. People love this side of me. When I come out and I just go crazy and let the truth do what it does, this is the best shit. I love this job. You make it too easy, bro. <laughs> Facts. So this dude said, all right, they started Rikers Island Stories. I was the first dude to do StreamYard. That day, he took two hits of crack and a whole bundle of heroin. And he was gone. Listen, chill. Shout out to everybody. I'm not talking about who you think I'm talking about. And I probably am, right? Who gives a fuck? Non-important to everyone, right? I wish everybody wins. I show my setup, I show people, look, I spent over $20,000 and that's just what I'm showing you. Money generated from online. People hate, so what they do, they'll stop watching. It says a lot about you as a person, Tommy. If you wanted a person to develop and reach a level that no outsider can reach and then you see him finally climbing up that ladder and getting there, do you say, oh, bro, he's getting too big for his bridges, time to pop this bubble? Or do you keep tuning in because that's what I wanted for him. He deserves that. 
You're a fucking hater, though, bro. Tú eres un odioso, papi. Loco. Oh, oh. Tú no eres un odioso, loco. Ven acá. So, anyway, check this out. Dude said they started StreamYard, bro. That's crazy. I used that shit when the kid was only, like, 22 years old. Came out with it. And you can see in my videos, over three to four years ago, all those videos I made, that's StreamYard now because you don't see the logo. I was paying for it, and you're not, right? Now, in some of them, you may see the logo because I didn't pay sometimes, right? And even though when I didn't pay, we knew a trick to take the logo off. You may not know it because you're new to StreamYard. Now that I don't use it every day like you do or like people do is a different thing because I know how to make content and I know how to edit my content. I don't need a third-party app or third-party software to edit my content for me. Facts. Oh, shit. Or third-party person. Oh, shit. So we work over here. Facts. We about that sh paper. It's on the lockout, bro. It's cool to be yourself. And being number two, number three, number five, number 10, even number 20, bro, is okay, bro. It's okay to be those numbers, bro. You in that line, but you definitely not number one. That's on the lockout, bro. I'm the king of this shit, bro. I'm the king of podcasting, bro. Who told you I'm not, dog? Who told you I'm not, huh? Who told you I'm not? Stop playing, bro. You kidding me? What you talking about? You been on Latino's dicks since BMX bikes, graffiti, and the beat kit. <laughs> Facts. Yo, stop playing. Latinos invent the hip hop with blacks. Don't ever let them take that away from you. Puerto Ricans and blacks together started hip hop. Facts. Don't ever let them take that away from you. Just like everything else. Some of those people, the ones that are no good, and we got love for good ones. They try to erase us from history and make it their story. It don't go like that. From the Latin King and Blood War to hip hop to everything else in life. Get off our dicks, please. It gets kind of <laughs> painful sometimes when you got so many people just hanging like Tarzan. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> King shit, bitch. King shit, bitch. King shit, bitch. King shit, bitch. Oh, yeah. Facts. Shout out to all the nietas in the world. You heard? Facts. It was very much needed. Your help and your assistance during the Cold War in Vietnam, Rikers Island, was very well appreciated, my brothers. May y'all all be in peace wherever you at. Shout out to all the patrias. Shout out to all the MS-13s. Latinos Unidos, you already know what it is. We don't use this to promote gangs or violence. We use it to promote unity amongst the people as one. To let the world know that together we can. They're trying to divide and conquer. But they're going to need more money and more sponsors. I am the voice of America. I am Warpath. A man who can destroy your life. A man that you will never see before again in five lifetimes. For I am the creator and founder of Rikers Island Stories and Rikers Island, the movie. Yo, everything I do is red and yellow. I stay in trouble. Word to mommy and word to my abuelo. Niggas think they gangster. They run and tell though. When I see you, I'm gonna grab you, snatch you, and pull your pillow. Call me a bitch, call me whatever. I'ma shoot you in your face, even in the bad weather. <laughs> Yo, chill, what? <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> chill. Chill, I'm becoming the mad rapper. Yo, chill, let me chill, because I'm just playing. And the bars, some may sound like retardation, and some just sound like standing ovation. Let me just chill, bro. Facts, I'm making it happen, you heard? Facts, shout out to my guy, poo <laughs> Sapo, I see you. I haven't shouted you out yet. When you donate, I'm going to give you the biggest shout out. You have not donated, bro. You have not paid your dues. None of that shit. I hit you up on fucking WhatsApp. Like, yo, what's up?
It's time to pay the dues, manito. You didn't even pay dues, bro. You remind me of one of them bros that would go to every meeting, but he never came with nothing for the box, bro. As a matter of fact, you stripped, bro. Let me get your lockout beads back. <laughs> Let me get your gold chain. Yo, yo, listen, those are the best bros to strip. If somebody in your gang right now has a gold chain with a B on it or a crown, strip him and take his chain. And I need it. <laughs> Yo, you ever been... If you in a gang, bro, or nation, and you got a gold crown or something that says king, and they like, Yo, you're stripped, but you got to give up your gold chain, and you, you pass it, you're a pepe, because they tried that with us before. Like, Yo, bro, y'all can't be wearing those right now. You got... We was young. I almost killed the dude. Facts. I almost killed a few of them, them dudes. Facts. Uh, uh... You may not understand because I'm not saying the whole story if you're listening. So just don't be like one of them dudes that's a super hater and you think you active still. And you're mad to the point like, bro, it's on when I see you because I'm going to fuck you up. I'm just letting you know. Like, I'm not your average YouTuber. Like, you're not just going to come up to me and disrespect me and walk away and think like you're the man and you're going to post it. Because in my mind, every time I get into a fight in the street, which is a lot of times, bro, I get in a lot of fights, bro, respectfully. This is not for you to do. In fact, my ear is hurting right now. I have Kali ear, bro. Facts. So, uh. Because I'm a sucker, right? That's why I got Collier, right? You know what they say about dudes with Collier, right? Okay, so uh, uh, believe that it's true. But we're not promoting violence. This is part of entertainment. You can check it out. This is the entertainment category. Uh, I'm a content creator, bro, and a part-time comedian, and this is what I do for a living. You heard? But there's some things that you're not going to find funny. <laughs> Let's get it, bro. Me and War are going to start in the Rikers Island movie. Who the fuck are you, bro? Bro, you know, one thing that dudes do a lot is they put Rikers Island stories on their title and on their description, and they talk nothing about Rikers Island. They talking about sports or about something that happened in hip-hop. That's bad because it shows that he thinks that the only way he's going to get views if is he puts that in his title, and it don't work that way, bro. It doesn't. Whoever told you that it works that way, it don't. You that never talked about Rikers Island, anybody, open up a channel, put Rikers Island and make a video and tell me how many views you get. It don't fucking work that way, bro. You got to work. It's quality over quantity. It's quality over anything that's happening, bro. Quality, quality. The algorithms change every six months. Well, guess what? This month, boy, I work there. I got a gig there. Whoever tells you otherwise don't know what's going on. You think I'm just going to keep lying and make up a thing like that? Like I'm that crazy? They would have shut my channel down for false advertisement or lying, bro. I sit down and have meetings with them on what's happening next, bro. I have an input, a say, facts. So with that being said, now you know something new, but everybody else knew except you, facts. But it's quality over quantity in these new algorithms, facts. So please, for the life of me, bro, wake the fuck up. While you making videos, put the beer away. Everybody wants to smoke a blunt. Nobody wants to see you doing drugs. You're a drug addict, bro. If you smoking weed and you get up in the morning to go cop, you're a drug addict, bro. Welcome to the real world, bro. You're doing drugs online in front of everybody. If you wake up and say, damn, I got to get a blunt. And that's the first thing on your mind. You're an addictive person and you're addicted to weed, bro. And I know you're going to say, how can I be addicted to weed? It's not addictive. All right, so stop fucking smoking then. <laughs> and then you can buy what you say you can't buy to make your show better. You can tell when people don't care about the people that watch them because they buy nothing for their show. They generate mad income, but they don't have not one fucking piece of new equipment and then be jealous about us. Like, ah, he thinks he's all that. Or his mother bought him that. Bro, you think because I look like I'm young? I haven't seen my mother in years. I didn't even see her for Mother's Day, and she's in the boroughs, nigga. Facts. I can't even ask my mother for a nickel, nigga. Nobody gives me shit in life, bro. Facts. So, that's crazy. But that's the haters, right? And once in a blue, you get one or two of them, 
And I block them, they fucking out of here. I don't let nobody disrespect my channel. Nobody. I don't let trolls chill. None of that. Ask anybody who ever knows me. In fact, I ain't even going to hold you. I love the feeling of being able to block people. That's like a beautiful thing. Pa! Ooh, I feel so satisfied. I'll be like, oh, yeah. Word, bro. Do that again. Well, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Facts, bro. I'll be so happy, bro. Thanks a lot for the super chat, my dude. Gang, gang, we see you. You already know. <laughs> I hit you with a bottle, you heard? Next time, put 50. Now nah, I'm only playing, bro. Damn, you heard him? How he talks to his subscribers? These dudes are so lame that one time I was playing around the way I'm playing around like that. And they was like, yo, you see how he talks to his subs? You should see the way I talk to your girl. <laughs> you bugged out, bro. They try to take one thing and turn. I don't forget nothing, and I don't forgive. If you notice, I hold grudges. You haven't noticed? I hold grudges, bro. I'm a bugged out individual, bro. Ask some of the dudes that the smallest thing happened with me and them. We don't talk no more, and they apologized and everything. Cool. You apologize, good man, bro. <laughs> You're still a piece of shit. I will never fuck with you again. I even regret helping you and giving you a platform. Facts. Let's keep it 100. A lot of these dudes you watch, over 20 of them, I gave them that platform. Facts. And I don't be bragging about it or saying names, so don't get scared. The people know. They making money and talking the shit that they talking because I gave them that one mic, nigga. Facts. These niggas were involved in everything and never made it. Until I said, you know what, I'm here, bro. I feel sorry for you, Joey. <laughs> You're looking bad. <laughs> this is a fact. Oh, I'm lying? Oh, I'm lying? But shout out to them, bro. Shout out to them. I hope everybody wins, bro. But I just don't play. I don't, I don't forgive. Facts. I haven't forgave my own mother, bro. <laughs> I just said I didn't talk to her for Mother's Day. Don't ever disrespect me or say something. Out of the ordinary And then think that you're just gonna be like Yo my bad I'm gonna just talk to you Like nah nigga I can never trust you again You heard facts Facts That's That comes when you a boss Not a follower I don't need you bro You know what I'm saying I like to let people think that you need them <laughs> And then when you wake them up Like hold up bro What the fuck you think Are you bugging <laughs> Or you smoke something heavy so yeah, shout out to all the drug addicts on YouTube that be smoking weed, thinking that shit looks cool. Yo, hold up, let me roll up to hide the fact that you on fucking pills or heroin. Bro, we know the difference, bro. One blunt didn't get you like that, bro. Facts. You look like you belong fucking incarcerated or something. Like, lock that nigga down, bro. Yo, bro, you're falling asleep, bro. Nah, I'm just reading the chat, bro. Yo, yo, call him. Bring the phone is not even waking him up. Yo, relax. You're a drug addict, bro. But we all been there, right? Don't ever get a, take that away from nothing. I've been there. I dip, dab, ripped. I was in the pot, right? But I always get out. You know when a dude is never going to change his life? When this is what he does all the time and he's comfortable with it. Like, they don't even try. They don't sign into the hospitals. They don't try to stay home for four days. Papi, tu te vas a morir that way. Facts. That's your legacy. A dude that tried, but he didn't succeed. But you could do it if you just stop the bullshit. Sometimes when people die right in front of our eyes, most of these kids die. Whether they smoking weed, he'll get shot. Going to cop weed. And people be like, damn, bro, that's fucked up. Huh? Why? You contributed to that by donating. To a person that you knew was fucking up their life. Facts. But shout out to the dudes that I see with setups. I know that you people are like haters. Some people and think I'm talking about certain people. I'm not. I'm talking in general, bro. And whoever wants to take a person, it is what it is. If it applies, let it fly, you heard? Make a video about it tomorrow. Say that you're mad. You're on the lockout. Let me tell you, son, you bitch ass nigga. Right? Somebody will send me the video. I probably won't even watch it. And even if I do. I'll never mention you, you heard? I'll never even say nothing back to you. So you could just get ill, you heard? And try to be successful for people that don't answer you back. <laughs> Facts, because I got to be a moron to answer you back. <laughs> Nobody's watching you, so you're only on YouTube. So if I answer you back, <laughs> I just send your video to Japan. <laughs> I'm not doing that. 
you haven't paid me the fee. <laughs> you still owe me money, as a matter of fact, from helping you before. <laughs> Yeah, well, tuck that shit is lit, baby. You mad. You sitting on your couch, man. Like, I hate this little nigga. I know. Dudes used to say that in the prison, too, and just watch. They were tight. They couldn't do nothing, bro. Facts. But shout out to you. Let's get to this video, bro. Let's see the real true story over here. This is the real true Rikers Island stories right now. You're going to see it, the foundation. Facts. Pop. Let's get to it, bro. They know what it is and what it been is yellow gang. Ooh, red and yellow, red and yellow. Pongo en el hospital, te mando para el hospital, te mando para el hospital. This one was pretty cool, I think. All right, All right, 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 right Island. Island. Here, we, here go. we go. Nothing to no. glorify your boy right here. As sad as it may be, I got 21 arrests and 17 convictions. And when I think about it, Can you guys hear it? Can you hear it? You can hear it? Let me see. Hold on. Let me go back. Tell me if you can hear it, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. Since it's your birthday, you can send me cash app and I'll send it back with a happy birthday thing. You're not going to get it all back, but you get some of it, and it'll look like it was for me. You heard? Yo, on the lockout, hook me up. <laughs> Word. We only need $80 over here right now today. $80, I'm good. I could, I could get three things I need for the show. Facts. You know me. I'm a real dude. These dudes be lying. I come out and just say, but that don't mean that we doing, bro, we got bills. I'm a grown man, homie, but we still need $80 for the show. People know the money I generated, bro. I buy my shit. My quick. Go look at Tech for Rec. T E K, the number four in R E K, bro. And shout out to somebody. I heard them say one time, damn, this is a competition. Well, guess what, bro? You have been lost since the time you said it was a competition. You were never even in it. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck you was talking about. <laughs> Facts. You're gassed. <laughs> Numbers do lie. So let's get it, bro. You ready? La verdad de la roca. <laughs> Tú estás loca, baby. So this story was pretty cool. I had said it one time and I said it again. This is about the Dominican, Lazaro, the Latin king dude. I respect him because they stepped to him to be Patria one time up north. And he was like, what? As a matter of fact, he he put in a lot of work, bro. If you call that work, you know, we was hurting our own people, I guess. But let's get it. Let's check it out. Lazaro. <clears throat> king Lazarus. All right, All right, Rikers, Rikers Island, Island. Here, we go. here we go. Nothing to glorify your boy right here. As sad as it may be, I got 21 arrests and 17 convictions. And when I think about it, I thought I was the man at Rikers Island. And now that I'm older, I'm like, yo, bro, I was so foolish. I threw my whole entire childhood, everything away, thinking that Rikers Island was really my home. I was taught so wrong. I was like, this is my house. I felt empowered. You feel in charge. It gives you like, I don't know, if a sense of entitlement is like the right choice for it, but it just felt right at the moment. But when I think about it today, the first, it's not the first time I was locked up, but the first time I seen somebody get cut, Slashed, it was like a horror movie. It was blood splattering everywhere. It was gruesome. And I was like, holy snap, my dude, like, yo. I don't know if it was fear, but I was just like, holy snap. And you know what stood out? What, what I think about it today? today? Ah! And, and this, this thing here. This, this, this. This shit is real, real. real. It's hot, hot. Here, homie. You better man up real quick. When the CO let the inmate get, get, get rid of the razor real quick and just put him in another pen, pen like not. Like like he, he was just sweeping away. away. Like, <laughs> like nothing. I'm like, what? 
I'm gonna tell you the story right now, exactly how it went down. That was just a little like, boom, let's get it, it's on the lock. So we in Rikers Island, bang. I get there. Again, it's not my first time on the island, but it's my first time seeing a dude get cut. You probably heard this story before, because I probably said it before, but a long time ago. This is for my new my new people, you heard? This is the 2021 take, you heard? Rewind. The remix, we in the building, Rikers Island, boom! Foundation, what it do? <laughs> Why you mad though? So now, um, I'm dead. My Dominican do is like, it's popping. So everybody in the pins, picture Rikers Island. When everything was quiet in the morning, or, or semi-quiet, right? Dudes going to court. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, courts walking out. Supreme 360. Adam. You know what I'm saying? 120. Skimmer. You know, whatever it may be. They calling out the courts. Queens. You know what I'm saying? Dudes is like, Queens, Queens. It's, they bugging out a little bit, but it's not super rowdy yet. So it stays quiet for a minute. That moment that it goes quiet, my dude. Lasado comes out and it's like, and they stomping on the floor and it's sounding loud and they banging on the wall, boom, boom, dudes like, yeah, let's get it. So it gets everybody hype. So the dude in my pen is like, yo, something to the extent like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like y'all making noise. Like I'm trying to. Rest, sleep, whatever he was trying to do. And he did a disrespectful move when he spoke to Lasado like that from this pin to the other one. You feel me? So, you know, when you're coming into the courts, they on the left hand side pin. I forgot what, what borough was that. I know I was on the one over there because I was in the Brooklyn pins. If I'm not mistaken, Lasado and them were separated because they were like, Cutters like they were pretty like they was like nah these dudes gotta be alone. You heard they dangerous facts. You know that pen, right? You ever been in that pen? Probably not, but it's alright if you haven't. So anyway, check it out. They in that pen, boom. <clears throat> Lasado starts telling homeboy, Oh word, you gonna learn. You better ask why I am. He's telling the CO Oliver and everybody, like, yo, tell this dude. The CO's like, you know what I'm saying? He'll learn. So Lasado was like, you're going to learn, right? So we in court. That's why they kept them over there, because they were the wild boys. So now we get to court. We in Supreme, Brooklyn Supreme. I see here, I hear a broom. The dude that told him, shut the fuck up, he's in my pen. You get it? So now, son, in my pen. But he sleep, and he bald-headed, and he sleep like this, right? So I see lies coming, boom, boom, and he's like, I'm like, all I remember was he was beefing to him before. It's lit. But I'm like, he's sweeping the pin is closed. The CEO opens the pin, bang, so he could sweep the okie doke, you heard? Facts. So back, leaving the comments, if you remember them days, the CEO will open that pin and set, and the, set whole the whole situation, situation up. up. Oh, bro. Or, or some CEOs didn't even know it was going to pop. You feel me? The dude used the CEO for his thing. Like, yo, let me sweep through. So as he's sweeping, he's looking through pins. He's looking for homeboy. He finds him in my cell with my luck. Hello. Boom, homeboy sleeping. I I thought he was just gonna start like start duffing like duffing him, him or whatever, right? Like, right? I'm, like not I'm not thinking when I when see I see he rips, he rips him, him. Ah, in his head, head. He's, and he's bored. bored, mind you, mind you, he's bored. bored. So you so can you see, can it, see like, it. it opened up, gushing. The dude gets up like, "Yo, what's up?" So Lars was a uh, persistent. He was super persistent with it. Like he wasn't stopping. You got up, it's popping. You getting cut some more. Boom, pop. 
bop, bop. He kept hitting him. Womp, womp, womp. At that time, I didn't even really know too much how to hold a razor or, 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 what, or have what have you. You feel me? Feel me? To be real. To be real. But I but always, I always said, said, this is why. Like, Traumatized, traumatized me. me. And I became, and I became Lazaro. Lazaro. I became I be- what I saw. Because I said, oh, this is how you implant fear. This is how dudes know, like, you're going to learn. Like, I'm him. You should have not played with me. So he kept blasting him. Bah, bah, bah. The dude was trying to swing. He grabs his arm and he's ripping off at his arm. Bah, 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 what up? Bah, what up? But the blood is gushing everywhere and it's on me. I'm like, holy snap, son. I'm going down, right? So I'm like, yo, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a horror movie, bro. I'm going to jail. I'm in jail, but I'm going under the jail now. So smoothly, it ends this quick. Poop, pop. The t- closes. The seal's like, what happened? He's like, boom, nothing. Come on. But the, him, the seal looks at the dude. He's like, yo, this dude just cut me, bro. Whatever. The seal's acting like, bro, shut up. Takes last with him. They come, the captain, everybody, because now he's cut. It's an emergency. You making paperwork pop hard. They get mad. But that CO knew what time it was. You feel me? He cut him in front of him, all that. The CO act like, I don't know where the blade at. I don't know what happened. All I know, I came over here. This dude is bleeding. You feel me? But how he got in that cell, it wasn't me. You feel me? But at this point, to be real, homeboy's letting it be known. Like, somebody cut me, bro. And it wasn't this dude, bro. You feel me? And how he got in here. Because now you got to, you know, people start thinking, like, I got a lawsuit. The CO let him in here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> you heard? So I don't know whatever happened with that. And I forgot why he told me, because I think I asked him, too, when I was in the street with him after that, years later. And I was in Mistake Correctional Facility upstate with him after that. The thing is that he had changed. Even though he bust his gun and get busy, he was getting older and he was like, I'm on some Chuck, you know, and I was telling dudes, son is an animal, <laughs> you heard? And don't ever get it confused, you heard? He's trying to go home, but son is a monster, that Dominican kid. Yeah, bro. But that was that was the first time that I ever seen someone really get blasted like that, dogs. And I was like, wow. And, you know, thinking back at those stories... And everything, I woke up today thinking about that and how ignorant I was that I would think that I was the man at Rikers. Like, it made you feel like, yo, whoa, what up? Yeah, what up? He's popping. Yeah, like, like you the man. Like, you just fall into the ignorance, like, hard. And every time that I got arrested, it was like nothing to me. It was like, what you gonna do? Send me to the island? Sir, please do so. You know? And I always felt like, I waited for dudes to come from the street that I knew or that did something in the street that stood on my mind that I didn't like. Because now I was like, what's up? What's up? You in my house now, son. What's up? You know, now we're going to see who's tough because it's a different world. So I always learned never to underestimate nobody or down nobody because they in a bad situation in life right now because that may be the same dude that you got an answer to. Always facts. Always facts on the attack when we bring it back like that. That's crazy. Nice asking Zodiac sign. Mike Lugo. Who the fuck are you talking to? Mike Lugo. Shout out to everybody, bro. Dudes is coming. Crazy shit. That's crazy, right? 
I don't know, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like trying to figure out the rest of the sentence for people. Like, if you're trying to ask me something and you put, like, a little bit of a sentence and expect me to fill in the blanks, I'm not into that shit, bro. Facts. <laughs> Respectfully, you got to literally say what you mean and mean what you say. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the haters that watch and don't comment, don't hit like, or don't hit dislike, and don't do shit. Just sit there and watch. You're not my friend. You're not a supporter. You're not none of that shit, bro. Facts. So if you just sit there and just fucking watch, you're a hater on the low, bro. Facts. Stop watching and just being creepy like that. Facts. I'd rather you just stop watching. Go watch some other shit. Go watch uh 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 uh. What is that shit? Tales from the Crips. <laughs> you ever seen that? Go watch Tales from the Crips or something, nigga. Facts. Go watch fucking the Three Stooges. Fucking uh. Benny Hill Show, go watch that shit. My Bad War. My Bad was your Zodiac sign. Love this show. Was your Zodiac sign. I don't get it, bro. What are you, Walter Mercado? <laughs> what up, Brooklyn Knights? Your fucking name to your channel is mad long. Hopefully, you're never opening up a channel with that shit, right? Like, you're just commenting respectfully. Your shit says, two Brooklyn Knights chopping it up down the block, walking up to the house, and yo, what's up? Nah. But yo, a lot of people that I helped blow, grow their channel, right? Like, they came to me for the assistance because everyone knows we help people grow online. And everyone knows everyone that helps people grow online, they charge a fee. Don't let nobody lie to you. From 20000 to lower to past 20000 If you want to pay 20000 go see V and them. Everybody knows who they are. They worldwide. They're in every commercial. They're in everything. Even media. Even D media. And I'm not even saying their full name because I don't want to give people promotion for free when they charge a fee for everything too. But they get the business part of this. And my guys that been here, they know who I'm talking about. Over 80,000 people pay, hundreds of thousands to learn the social media shit. It's not just about posting. But one of the things that uh, uh, I always tell, I hate to say my clients or my my seminar or my people in, my, in that class that week is, yo, bro, your fucking name of your channel is like a sentence. No one's ever going to look that shit up. It's on the lockout and I wanted to make it shorter. If you meet someone outside and you're like, yo, check me out on YouTube, bro. Or you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, bro, I'm doing a show. I'm doing, trying to do this. What's the name of it? Uh, Brooklyn Knights. What's up with you? Tommy Hill figure. You get it? I'm, the, I'm not saying. I'm just using you as an example, but I don't care what you do in life. You're probably not into that. Cool. God bless you. I'm not putting you on the spotlight, shouting you. I was talking about this in general. I always talk about content creation and growing your platform and all that. I mix it in. With Rikers Island, with streets, with death, with everything. At the end of the day, you can generate an income off of all that and make it into so-called content, right? It's sad, but it's the fact. So anyway, uh, with that being said, bro, the name of your channel shouldn't be fucking a whole sentence, bro. It should be as short as possible and as catchy as possible so a person never forgets it when they walk away. Because if you tell me, yo, boy, look at my channel, this is the name. A uh, Brooklyn Knights, uh, I'm not looking that shit up, bro. I forgot it as soon as I woke off. Facts. So, you know, people don't even want to take out the time to punch in something that long on their thing. We chopped it up. I spoke with you a few times. Oh, you must have been one of those dudes that didn't really have the money yet. Right? Respectfully, I'm not even trying to hold you. Because if you spoke to me a few times and we haven't did anything, then you wasn't serious. Or you was one of those dudes that don't got the money and just try to talk to me like if I was your friend. Respectfully, I'm saying that for a lot of other dudes. Because dudes hit me up and they be like, yeah, bro, I'm trying to get the money. If you trying to get the money, why are you hitting me now? Hit me when you got the fucking money. You looking for a friend or you think I'm just going to rap to you or whatever? I'm not into those things, bro. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> you feel me? We running a, a straight. Business here, homie. My thing is business with you. What's up? You trying to blow your platform? Trying to grow? I'm going to show you the right way. 
I'm not going to rob you of your little money. I'm going to show you the right way and the rest is up to you. Facts. But, yeah. Shout out to you, though, bro. You already know. I told you I met you at 180. I don't remember that shit, bro. Facts. That conversation with nobody. But stay up, bro. You already know. Shout out to you, bro. And I don't even mean it disrespectful, but you probably did meet me on 180. On 180, Jeff in the building, the Latin King building. In Bushwick. The Latin King house. Where we used to. 180, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. That's where you met me at? Okay. That's what's up, bro. Shout out to you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, he said yes. All right. Yeah, you already know. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to the whole Jeff. Facts, you already know what it is. Gangsta! Kill, 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 slay all day. We don't play. <laughs> Facts. So, shout out to you, bro. Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is, bro. But it's about creating, bro. It's about creating. It's about doing something online. Jobs, getting up and walking to your job or driving to your job is definitely going to be a thing of the past. But they've been saying this, that computers was going to take over the world. It's just the time is here. You're, and then people be hitting me up and be like, yo, bro, I would do it, bro. If I was young like you, psh, I would have been lit on the internet. So you're doing the right thing. And when you ask him his age, he'd be like, bro, psh, I'm 39 years old. My nigga, you a baby nigga next to me. Facts. Because I look mad young and I take care of myself. Duke be like, if I was young like you, boy, I would have been doing the same thing. You young bucks could do it. <laughs> My dude, I'm telling stories at times from the 80s. I just don't say the year, bro. Because some of these people are still in the street. And you still don't know how to mathematically break down that, okay, maybe this dude is over 45 years old, bro. Bro, you're a baby, nigga. I got four kids. My oldest son is almost 30, which part you don't get. Because I move like a... You feel me? Because I still hit like a truck. Uh, uh. I'm older than you, bro. Way older. Facts. Just, I know how to take care of myself. And you look like you've been through four lifetimes. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but I don't know what dudes be thinking, bro. Yo, shout out to Charleston too. I said that, right? Yo, Charleston White. You some bitch. Nah, but check out what's going to happen right here. Social media is getting people killed on the daily basis. And right now, there's about to be a homicide taking place. Everybody record this and send it out to the space. This is the fact. And if I get banned for this, fuck it, so be it. I know I'm saving lives. You want to have a message, Charleston Chu? Here's the message. Well, any guy that wants to hide stuff from the Hoover family is a guy of disrespect non-intelligence and a poor <laughs> disability i'm talking about white bro jay prince just got you killed on social media he just put a hit out on you in the 2022 way you're dead you better hide <laughs> facts the feds is having a field day with these dudes you can't hide behind the fact it's just entertainment. Anybody that wants to hide a tape from J.A. Hoover, whatever the fuck homeboy's name is, right? It's a no good individual. And the one who wants to have people killing themselves and our black brothers and sisters upon the world. My nigga, you're dying. <laughs> Somebody's going to kill you. J. Prince opened his mouth. There's dick riders everywhere that are in Jay Prince's dick for no reason. They never saw him. They never will see him. Somehow people are the most dumbest people in the world. They will beat you up, jump you, and be like, Jay Prince, bitch. And then they call Jay Prince and act like they down with him. Yo, yeah, this the mob. Yeah, I just got that. I just did that thing he wanted done. Jay Prince like, no, you didn't do that, but I didn't want nothing done. You fucking fool. What you here to collect? Nigga, you got me an indictment. Yeah, you putting that man in jail ASAP. Somebody gonna put that man in jail. Shout out to Jay Prince. You're not too bright either, buddy. Facts. <laughs> You're not far removed from a retardado, bro. Respectfully. <laughs> yeah, bro. Y'all going to jail, bro. 
Hopefully it's soon. Hopefully it's soon so we don't got to hear this shit on social media no more, bro. Facts. Hopefully the whole indictment will drop all at one time and it'll be like, today we have 586 people indicted. The biggest indictment ever on YouTube. Gang members of the almighty blood, the crip nation, and other gangs involved in what they call cyber banging, podcasting, to converted into gang casting the leader the ringleader and the founder and the one that started boosting all these gangs and giving them a voice where they can all get at each other and kill each other dj academics is on the top of the indictment another one will be and they'll start indicting these motherfuckers and now you can come in and do real content bro Cause that's not content Thank you for tuning in to On The Lock I love you I'll see y'all tomorrow I got videos dropping and all that Right now I'm gonna go live on Facebook After I eat this burger baby Yo shout out to everybody I don't wish jail on nobody I'm only playing Shout out to you If you're a gang member bro Keep banging No 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 Don't keep banging Uh uh Find something else to bang for bro Besides your boy He's a dirt bomb Facts He don't even shower bro uh, That's a fact On God bro Most of these dudes Don't even shower bro you're hanging out with a dude that's not showering. He don't take care of himself. He didn't even brush his teeth today, bro. The chances are you're going to catch a sickness from him. Facts. And he's going to put you in jail for the rest of your life. Don't believe the hype, bro. These dudes are spreading mad hate on social media. Talking about this one killing that one. Look, you got men, black men and Spanish men. I just say Spanish so everybody else can feel good. <laughs> you know who the fuck I'm talking about, bro. Facts. <laughs> so, but people cry. Like, oh, you just, no, I'm pointing out the people that is causing the biggest problem. They could have been Japanese. I would have said the same thing, right? Fuck out of here. We say what we want here. This is on the lockout. We don't worry about nobody. So what I'm saying is this. You got a dude telling another dude that he's getting black people killed and all that. <laughs> and there's another dude that got more black people killed than fucking <laughs> any fucking other country where fucking slavery existed. This is facts, bro. <laughs> like, my dude, are you fucking serious? Another destroyer of the black community fronting as an activist or a socialist or a person that does good things for black people. Talking to another dude about, bro, you talking about you getting black people killed. Fucking all dumb, bro. Bunch of fucking losers and haters and fucking people that deserve to be disqualified from ever having a voice on social media. It is bad for people in general. It is bad for the black community. That's not the people you want as your heroes. Facts. Neither WAC 100 nor J Prince. Facts. On God. And if you do, you have to reevaluate yourself. You'll be dead by the age of 16. If you're lucky. I would say 13, but then YouTube could give me a strike for talking about under people under 13. But normally I would say 13. And even at a super early age, some of the stupidest people doing the stupidest things in the world to other Regular civilians in life are super young and probably deserve that and then some. But people want to cry. <laughs> Meanwhile, they should be all screaming out. Oh, yeah. And celebrating that the fucking devil from the block is definitely off of here. As sad as it may be. People hate you. They just don't dare tell you on your block and on your community. You're there thinking you're tough. Lady has to come out of house every day. The hallway smells like weed and piss. Crackheads walking all up in the building. You're there just selling crack. Yo, you, I, I did the same thing. So I know I'm talking about myself, but I'm trying to school you. Hopefully, I, w I wish I had somebody to school me back in the days. But they taught me that selling crack was the right thing to do. And that you didn't have to be embarrassed of selling crack. But I had to be embarrassed... Of selling socks or generating an income doing something that shows your intelligence online or anywhere. You should be embarrassed because they sending checks to your social security number. <laughs> Whoever's teaching you that the dude's an idiot and he doesn't want you to be smarter than him. So he gives you a pack so you can stay in this pack. 
But if you violate and you don't pay him back, then you pay with a smack. <laughs> He's really your oppressor, not me. Sorry to tell you, your oppressor is your same skin tone. He's not white. And he's not a member of the Almighty Latin King and Queen Nation. He's your boy. He's the one you call your bro, your leader, and all that. That's your oppressor. If he's not showing you the right way, how to survive as a regular civilian and get an honest living and take care of your family, if those are not what he's showing you, he's definitely your oppressor. Your mother's dumb. Your mother smokes crack under the elevator. <laughs> this nigga said, you're dumb. I know. And you suck dick. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> now, what does that matter? You're real bright. <laughs> you're watching me saying I'm dumb. You're on my dick. <laughs> yeah. You got my balls drifting back and forth. Yeah, damn, boy. Yeah, but don't call me dumb, nigga. Because your mother's dumb. So I say it like that. So when you see me, you got to pop. Because I say your mother, since you're such a gangster to say you dumb on the internet. So your mother's dumb. Or that baby your wife just had is dumb, nigga. Facts. Your fucking dog is dumb. Your hamster. What about that? Your grandmother, that bitch, she's dumb. And if she's dead, she's even dumber. Fuck her. So when you see me, you got to do something. Y'all niggas think you the only one you could come in here and violate you bitch ass niggas. And nobody's going to say nothing. Nigga, if you was in front of me, I'll fucking murder you, son. Facts. I'll kill you, son. And I'll say it right in. I would have murdered you, son. Do you know my fucking anger issues, you little bitch ass niggas? You bugging ass anybody that really know me, son. I would have choked you till you fucking died. You really think I'm a regular, I care about YouTube and all this shit, nigga? Like, this is the only thing I got to do, nigga? I was a stick-up kid, nigga. I go outside and get anything I want. You bugging? <laughs> or you fell, little motherfucker? You confusing a nigga learning the internet with being a fucking square from Delaware, nigga? <laughs> you supposed to talk the way you want, I ain't gonna say nothing. Bitch-ass niggas. I wish a nigga would say something in my face, nigga. You better run after that because I'm fast with it, bro. I'm trying to grab you and fuck you up. Yeah, look, now he says, I see you're grown. Nigga, eat a dick, nigga. I'm supposed to be nice to you. You're like, you're dumb. Your mother's dumb, that hairy bitch. Fuck out of here. You a dumb nigga. You're dumb. You're going to tell me you're dumb and then say, I see you're grown. Like... You just gonna call a nigga dumb for no reason? You're dumb. You're watching me hating. And I'm getting paid for you watching me while you a hater, nigga. Who's dumb? And people love when I go in on dudes. Who's dumb? You'll see me in the street and we'll say none of that. But yo, I fuck with your show. Who's dumb? Because if you was to say something to me, anybody other than that. I'm snuffing you. The world knows that. This is not an act. That's who I am. Facts. Bing bong on God. It gets real spooky around here. <laughs> Aren't you not entertained, bitch? Welcome to YouTube. Well, they don't have a clue. You already know, Mike. You crazy. You better ask somebody. No confunda la humildad con cobardía, papi. <laughs> I'm a monster here where you see me, boy. I'm just an intelligent monster. I'm tamed, nigga. You know what got me tamed, homie? My wife, nigga. If I didn't have my wife, I would have murdered niggas. I would have been doing a hundred years. Facts. My wife knows. She, if she ever were watching this, if she hears me, she'll be like, he's mad in there. She'll know that, that he will kill you if he catch you right now. You know how every, if anybody know you, it's your wife. She probably like, Dito boy, you don't even know. <laughs> My little homie is a savage. <laughs> boy, I'll tie you up and bring you to Nini's house. And Nini will have a talk with you. You know who's Nini Anthony? Shout out to Anthony, bro. 21 plus 17. 
Uh, let me see. You're a dick. <laughs> 21 and 17 means you're a dick. <laughs> Nigga, whatever them numbers mean to you, take them and rub them on your chest. <laughs> Word. Numbers don't mean nothing to me, bro. People don't even mean nothing to me. I'm going to care about a number. Only fuck boys pay hard on behind keyboards. Pay that shit no mind. Yeah, I know, John, but I love it too. I, I, it's wreck for me, bro. It's wreck, but it's like kind of bad wreck. Because after this, somebody gets punched in the head outside because of this dude. I take it out on people. <laughs> Facts. Hopefully, he's his cousin. Ping pong. <laughs> nah, I'm only playing, guys. We don't promote no violence. You already know. Always positivity. There's YouTube. Every channel on YouTube is about positivity. I love you guys, bro. Thank you for tuning in. Weren't you not entertained, though? Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> yo, yo, Anthony, it's your turn. You ready, bro? Yo, Anthony, it's your turn. You ready, yo? Yo. Yo, Anthony, te pasaste pa, ahora te voy a barrer, no hay quien dure conmigo, soy champion chip, te pegaste pa y son del fucking chip, ¿qué te pasó? Te caíste, <tose> levántate pa y estás frustrado, sabes que tú eres un animal que está doblado, yo soy el duro en esto, hace años no me ha dejado, y de dónde vienen todos estos mamados, el duro en la rap. El duro en la radio y ahora estoy dándole hasta al diablo. Soy insane, si sí tengo los brains, to bring all the pain. Guerra, estoy insane. Ha cambiado mucho, pero todavía soy the same. Y ya tú sabes, my fucking name. Es guerra, pa, no te olvides eso. Es guerra, pa, no te olvides eso. <risa> Dale queso, el ratón que anda pa y sin los huesos. <risa> 6969 Tekashi, si, todo eso. <risa> El maricón, dale un beso. <risa> yo, yo, boy, you the man, B. Yo, I love y'all, bro. Yo, Anthony, shout out to you, bro. No feelings, yo, no, no hard feelings, yo. You just fell in the realm of uh, money, yo. I just made money off of you, bro. <laughs> Who's bright? You're not too bright, bro. You're not too bright. I just made money off of you coming in here and calling me dumb. You kept people in tune longer. You made it exciting. Who the fuck is dumb? Bro, I'm teaching people sign as I'm talking. Just I say it with swag. Like, nigga, I'm making money off of you. So everybody could get mad at the same time, right? And I don't mean it like that. My real supporters, I love you. But dudes like that... They're, they not too bright. You saying I'm dumb? Nigga, you came in here and gave me a dollar. You bitch ass. Who's dumb? Aren't you not into time, baby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. This nigga was killing it. Ah. This nigga was killing it. Ah. Yeah, baby. you not entertained yo if you entertain and you my real ones put i'm entertained let's get it if you a real one put i'm entertained with a lock i'm entertained with a lock facts i'm entertained with a lock i'm entertained with a lock you don't go to other shows and get no hype shit like this on a sober homie i'm on cafe you heard and it's not butelo it's Ness, homie you don't get entertained like this, my nigga. This is some other shit from 2035, homie. I'm entertained, my nigga. Yo, but not my nigga. Don't put my nigga. You heard? You ain't got to do all that. I think you bugging out. You see? Don't spell that word, bro. On here. Facts. Sorry, I got to remove you. T take two. Put, I'm entertained with a lock. You ain't got to put the N-word, bro. Relax. You know what you're doing. You kind of a hate on the law. I got to watch you now. Cabeza. That shit comes with hate. You heard? You know that commenting that word is not the politically correct thing to do on the two with the algorithm. So you kind of pelabicho too on the low. You heard? <laughs> word. You kind of like a bicho virao. You heard? So chill. 
Cabeza de pollo. <laughs> Yo, fuck the fingers, fuck locks. I'm entertained with a lock, bro. Shout out for the donation, my dude. You already know what it is. Thanks for the donation, the super chat. Yo, my guy. I'm entertained. I'm entertained. What's up? What you got? Your sister's phone is locked. She don't let you type. You slow, bro. <laughs> I mean, aren't you not entertained? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Hold up, bro. If you don't know how to spell I'm entertained, <laughs> yo, go to Google and say, I'm entertained. After you hit the microphone, boom, and it's going to come up, ping, right? And you I'm entertained. And then, just in case, because Google might put, I'm giving you brain or some other shit. It always says what it wants. It might say you're giving out brain. That's weird, right? You don't want to put that. Then you're going to look like some of these dudes' titles to their videos. <laughs> they talking about something. Their title says something totally different from out of space. And then they get mad views and be like, yo, my videos are popping. Homie, <laughs> your title says something completely different. You confuse the algorithms. It doesn't even say anything in English. It thought your shit was from Japan. <laughs> so it sent it all over. <laughs> it thought you were smart. <laughs> so check this out. After you do that, then cut back on like one or two letters and I'll give you the correct spelling. My bad. I know a lot of people can't really spell respectfully. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, bro. You know, I'm just joking with a little truth. I love y'all, bro. <laughs> ah, ganga. Oh, shout out to everybody, man, in the chat. Shout out to the people that's watching and all that. You heard? Facts. You already know what it is. And just so you can learn YouTube, because some people are haters, right? And they be haters on the low. So, you know, we always do this. We was always the founders of this and the teachers. Just so you can learn uh, YouTube and what's really, really going on, right? Right there, you're going to see. I'm going to show you right now, bro. Take it easy, Bobby. And you see it? Right there, there's 296 people in the building watching the video on a playback, meaning they watching the video from the beginning. These are facts. We never lie to you, bro. That's somebody else. So there's 296 people. That's how when you get off this video, as soon as you come back, the vid they'll either put 200 or 300 because it'll be up by then. So normally we have 1,000 or 900, definitely 800 by now. But... When you just go live Anyway I'm not gonna explain it Cause these dudes just sit there And watch and learn And then give you no props Then make videos Talking about uh, uh, What they started And what they didn't start Meanwhile you look like You're not even too bright To do none of that On your own bro You heard facts But shout out to you bro Shout out to I see dudes getting Their setups together And all that I see the the the, the squad The people that They tell their Rikers Island stories And all that I'm very proud of A lot of people bro Believe it or not I just talk my shit Because it's part of what I do, you heard? It's a difference between talking shit. That's why I, nobody can ever say that I talk about the next man. Because what I said before and what I meant was this. Talking about the next man is saying something that you wouldn't say to his face. There's not one man walking this earth that I wouldn't tell him what I said to another man, bro. Facts. Anything I say about anybody, cause I could back it up. I could hold it down. Facts. Talking shit is when people are like, oh, shit, you talking shit? Like... About somebody that, can, that you don't dare say it in their face. Most of the time when I told somebody something about any dude, I already told that dude in his face. You get it? That's talking shit. I never talk shit. I talk facts. You heard? Bang! Que pasó, cabrón? So check this out, bro. There's another story that's coming tomorrow that... A lot of people never seen, right, on this channel. There's a lot of stories coming. So one of the ones that's going to be popping is this one that we did like three years ago with StreamYard, right? When people were the first ones to use StreamYard, they said they're really drunk. This is StreamYard, bimbo. <laughs> Facts. This was so long ago, I even forgot I had it, bro. And this is nothing. I got other videos before this one of StreamYard on my other fucking uh, channels. And in my in my in my little cave cave, 
or KV KV. Is it this one or this one? Damn, now I'm confused. Or did I even send it there? I think it's this one. Hold up. I'm gonna tell you right now. I gotta get it over here. Fuck. Oh yeah. Damn, it's 18. Alright. This one. Alright, this is it. What am I talking about here? I think I'm talking about the bloods. I can't hear it. Yo, what up? What's poppin'? So, so, a lot of people, lot of people asking, asking me, yo, what's up? Your first time. My dude, that's long time ago, bro. You could tell the mic. That mic that I'm using is actually... Uh, skull candies. I'm gonna put the link in the description on Tech for Rec. Those skull candies sounded real good. There, they don't sound that good because I was using them with StreamYard, and StreamYard sucked for microphone at that time. That's when StreamYard first started. When the kid was hitting us up and he was starting the app for us to advertise for him, like, like to promote it and use it. And he would hit us up and like talk to us about what you think, why should I change or whatever, right? Uh, I got all those videos too. One thing about me, I hold receipts. Nigga, I don't play. So I got all those videos with us and the little white boy and all that, right? Respectfully. He's like fucking, now he's like 30 or something, but he's super young. He started in his house. By the way, I got my own app coming out, my own software for you to go live on. That's going to, hopefully that'll be out by the end of this summer. I'm working on that alone with nobody my own app my own software for you to game on and stream on 24 7 facts is gonna be lit so you could really hate you heard so you could come into my shit and i could shut your shit off now i wouldn't do that to you you can't do that you go to jail it's called monopolizing once you into the part of making apps and software you learn all that so when people say yo youtube is banning me or blocking me that's a lie bro that don't happen it's that your content suck and the algorithms know that you're doing wrong shit and they ban you. They block you. Like, yo, bro, we send your shit to everybody. Nobody's watching this shit. What the fuck you want us to do? You got to do something else. You worried about doing what we doing. That wasn't for you. The algorithm is like, yo, two or three people already own that space, bro. You got to do something else, moron. But no, you insist. That you want to be, you get it? Or, 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 or you doing something, bro. You know why? When you so thirsty to win, it don't happen for you. Some of these dudes, the biggest break that they had in their whole life and the most views they ever got in their life was when we helped them. Other than that, their shit shut off after that because I stopped fucking with them. And I would never mention them again, nigga. Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> Pelavicho. <laughs> Damn, my eyes always been official, you heard? Damn, these shits are killing my Kali ear, bro. And they go around it, but it's been swollen, bro. You see the blood? Shit is hard, bro. And I keep putting this earring. Facts. I can't hear right now. Hold on, but I want to hear this. This video should be lit. Let's check it out a little bit. I'm out of here, though. You see? Homie, three years ago. Three years ago, I'm beatboxing. In the beginning of the video, I didn't even know that. So way before that, I've been doing that. Go look at that video. That shit's like three years ago. Two or three. Definitely way over a year and 19 months. Is there 19 months in a year? Damn, you're stupid. Well, I know. I did that on purpose. Idiot. <laughs> but that shit is super old, bro. I didn't even know I was beatboxing there. It's just something I always did. I know how to do everything and anything in the world. There's nothing I don't know how to do. I self-taught myself in the street, bro. I was outside so much. I was sleeping there, bro. You don't understand? Not 10 years ago. Recently, I just, when I say here, I just came from outside, moron. The fuck you think? You're dumb. <laughs> YouTube, I love you. I don't know what I'll do without YouTube. It's my life. <laughs> These dudes are crazy, bro. I, you, you'll kill yourself. That's what you do. Because you're only on YouTube. Because all you do is use your phone. And that's it. Once your phone gets clogged, they don't let you go on other sites. There's not a lot of shit you could do. You can start with a phone. You don't have to end there. There's progression. Where's the progression? 
What do you buy? What you do with the donations that you're getting or the little income you get from online? You got to be making over $500, bro. If you're not making over $500 and you're monetized with thousands of subscribers and thousands of views, even a few hundred views as a whole, because people just see one video as a whole, if you're not getting over 50,000 views a month, then you need to look into doing something else, bro. Facts. Or you need to step up your game hard. As a whole, if you as a whole, not per video, one video you could get 10 views. It just the algorithm wasn't feeling you that morning. <laughs> it was busy. But your next video, and as a whole, if every 30 days you're not getting over 50,000 views, that means YouTube is not pushing your shit nowhere. Time to go, Mo. And it's been a minute. You need to start doing other shit. Because that same strategy is not working. You need to learn more about YouTube. Just making a video and posting it and putting a title and a description and a few tags is not going to do shit, bro. That was 20, that was years ago when it first happened. That doesn't work no more, bro. There's other shit evolving. Things are changing. You learned one thing and that's it and thought, that's it. Oh, I know it. No, homie. This is data, data, the internet, frequency, shit changing, what's popping? But you staying the same? You're not learning? You think you, you, you can stop studying what's happening? And you're going to be lit? You bugging. There's a job like any other job. You got to get to work. Or it's not for you. If you're not making $500 a month, not even on or SSI check type shit. But if you are making even three hundred a month, and you can't save fifty dollars, you could pay a few to buy yourself some stuff so the people can have a better show and you can make better content. Why are you doing this for? Cause you for sure don't care what people see, and we could tell by your clothes. You got stains, it's wrinkled. You coming on dirty, like you don't care. That shit is ratchet, bro. You on TV on the biggest platform in the world. I'm dropping jewels on you, bro. An uh, iron should be part of your setup, bro. As a grown man, you should be ironing, ironing your clothes anyway. Who don't iron their clothes, bro? Who comes on wrinkled? Rick Ross. That shit was the worst thing I ever saw. Shout out to Mr. Wrinkled Rick Ross. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, bro. You don't come on looking like that with your shit all wrinkled, crazy. That shit says who you are as a person, bro. Your surroundings around you, your house, it says who you are, bro. I was able to walk in a woman's house and with being there less than three minutes, I told her, somebody smokes crack in here. No, nah, nobody smoked. Then she was like, yo, my baby father was with me, boy. He was getting hot. Of course, I knew that. When I walked in, the clothes were all over the floor. Mayonnaise on the table looking disgusting. Some Philly bitch. Of course, I was right. Your surroundings says who you are as a person. Stop being a fucking pig and coming online like everything is cool. Homie, I don't have, I take a shower every day. Before I come in here, I always say I iron my clothes. I take a shower, all that. Before I sit on this chair to make content. Your chair must stink like shit. Get down and smell your own chair. You're going to be like, what the fuck is that? That's your culo, nigga. That's your culo smells like that. Like khaki. Te cagaste, cabrón. <laughs> Clean your shit. Iron your clothes, bro. People are watching you. Take pride in what you do. You did something that is hard for the average human being to do. Gain thousands of subscribers and views on the biggest platform in the world. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's why the algorithm is not responding to you. It's recognizing quality over quantity, bro. You're a hood booger. You're a dirt bomb. Stop that, bro. That's the biggest jewels you get besides knowing any of the tech stuff. So I made a video on a budget-friendly iron, 
of $22 because my shark iron, the cable broke and I could have fixed it, but I was like, it's time, fuck it. And it was pretty. So everybody in the comment section was saying, yo, that iron looks good and all that, but it don't work. I had that same iron before as a black and decker. I had it years ago, but I forgot how much. I don't even think I bought it before years ago. I think my wife bought it. I'm not sure. Whoever bought it, I'm legally married, so it's like I bought it, right? That's what happens when you have a wife, nigga, not a girlfriend. Nigga, you dumb. Nigga says, girlfriend, nigga, I'm legally married since I was super young. I was like 20, nigga, when I got married. Facts. Nigga, years ago. Like fucking barely legal type shit. You bugging? So anyway, uh, 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 uh. Uh, iron should be part of everybody's setup, studio setup. Facts. Plus, if you live alone, you don't have an iron? How the fuck you a grown man? Y tú no tienes una plancha, nigga. That's like a rule. There's no fucking plancha in this house? Y'all punch a dirt bombs, nigga. Facts. And that's how people look at you in the street. Si te coge la plancha, cabrón. Nigga, I'll be nice and ironed. I'm the type of dude, before I sit, I stretch out my pants so that crease don't be in the back. All that. I'm a, I'm a neat freak, bro. Facts. You see these dudes, they YouTubers, content creators, supposedly. They getting th hundreds of thousands. The fucking sweaters, all limp balls. All limp balls everywhere. They go like this. It's all fucking lint. My nigga, you're a dirt bomb. I don't give a fuck how that shirt is clean. I'm not coming on here with lint, like a thousand lint balls all over my skelly. It says that you're a de under depression and you're a dirty hood booger. Your do-rag has fucking the line. It's all fucking little cotton balls. It's all lint, bro. Homie, take that lint off your fucking do-rag. It looks... And then you're recording in, in 1080p, 4K. That shit is 3D to the viewer, bro. That's a bad experience. That's a bad viewing experience, bro. And what you want to give the viewer is one of the best viewing experiences they ever had. So me, I don't watch a dude that don't take pride in what he's doing. Now nah, this nigga don't care. He don't even got the right lighting or nothing. And there's a million people that think like that. The only people that don't think like that, sad as it may be, is our people. People from the hood, the gutter, and the slums. They'll watch you with the lights out. As long as you saying word, blood, you heard, homie? Yo, my knee. Yo, what up, my G? Yo, what's poppin'? As long as you talking dumb phonics like that, they'll tune in. They don't care. Because they in the same boat. They ain't with the lights off because they didn't pay the light bill because they never had a bill in their fucking life. They don't know what it is to pay it. And they there too high with you. So just call the shit the loser channel. That's why you never get no win. That's why nobody has reached out to you to do any business endeavors, to do nothing that has to do with thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands. That's why when you talk to other people, you be like, there's no money in this. Homie, because the people that's going to put the money in your hand will never hit you. You haven't showed no quality of a host, of a person that's taking anything serious in life. They don't even know you on the internet. It don't matter if you have 300,000 Subscribers, bro. They don't even know you're here. That's a small channel, bro. A million subscribers is actually a small... I don't know where y'all getting this from. That your homeboy got a big channel. My dude, because a person has 10 million subscribers, don't mean that's real and 10 million people are watching. You know what you do? You know. If you know about content, you're saying, son is right. He knows his shit. Go to your analytics. Or if you know how to get into people's analytics like we do... Tap in and go to his part where it says return subscribers. I was talking to my wife about this thing. Return subscribers and see how many of his subscriber count. The same count came back to watch his show within the last 28 days. I bet you it's close to zero. Facts. Most of people's views and subs come from recommended throwing it out everywhere because they don't know what to do with it because you're all over the place. And sometimes when you get in, you ever seen in the bottom, it says this video is reaching a broader audience. Reaching a broader audience may get less viewership and revenue. So you're like, oh, it's lit. I'm getting mad views. But it always works backwards. That's the worst thing you want to do is get mad. Like hit the algorithm. Boom. Oh, shit. I got a million views. It looks good to those that don't know YouTube. It's deceiving. 
But you know and I know behind the scenes, they telling you, yo, Pepe, whatever you think you did that was slick and to try to beat the algorithm and we the shit went everywhere, you're fucking up. Because it's being sent to people that don't watch your corny shit. It's being sent to people that actually speak English. So guess what a regular human being, doctors, lawyers, uh, even these white kids from the suburban areas, the people that, even our people, Spanish people, black people that are good people in the world, that are hardworking. When they see a doing, he comes in and he goes, yo, what up, what's popping? Homie, today we're here to talk about what happened with WAC 100 and Nipsey Hustle and Big U. They'd be like, what the fuck is this crap of shit with these street punks? These dudes are on the internet time. They click off in 2.1 seconds. I promise you. There is only a small, very small portion of the world that fucking looks into that shit. Very more small portion, bro. And that's why your shit amounts to zero dollars, nigga. Because they sending it to people that not into what the fuck you talking about. Facts. And that's why it says exactly that. It tells you getting higher views. I mean... Being sent to a broader audience, you like, oh shit, it's lit. It's being sent to a broader audience. They're actually hurting you. When that happens to me, you ever seen one of my videos be up and then you come back, it's not there no more? Or while you're watching it, it's just gone pop? That's me. I delete it. Every time they put that shit on my shit, they be like, you do not have to delete the video. Yeah, suck a dick, nigga. I ain't stupid. <laughs> Don't delete the video, but because of this video, your whole page might slow down. Nah, bro. That shit is out of there. But shout out to you. Hopefully you learned something right there. <laughs> but you're not too bright. You're probably just mad at the way I'm saying it. That's how we do about corrective criticism. You're